everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener, beauty, skincare, and more. I try products out for you and share my honest review so you know what to buy, and more importantly, what not to buy. Today is a little bit different. It's another round of Ask Brit. The question is, what do you do when your skin gets red and irritated and dry and just freaks out? I just did this and it really did help. Is it perfect? Am I a dermatologist? No, but I definitely saw an improvement in my skin, specifically the redness and dryness. I wanted to share that with you and answer the question. If you want to learn more, stick around. Let's get into it. Like I mentioned, I am not a dermatologist. I have never claimed to be. Consult an expert. This is not medical advice. We're finally getting temperatures to go up here, which means the heat that has been blasting in the house, which I have not been used to. Very, very grateful to have electricity, mind you. My skin has not been used to having dry heat just blowing on my face. It's been wreaking havoc. My skin looked ridiculous. Drier than it's ever been. I was trying everything, you guys, and it hasn't been helping. I actually was gonna call a dermatologist because I was concerned that the flakiness that was going on was just, I've never seen anything like it. So here's what I did. Streamlined, put it all away, didn't touch anything except for a warm washcloth, and I would rinse my face with that. And then I used, there's this three-step system, which I will put a link to below. I haven't been using all the steps, full transparency. I've been testing more products, so I haven't really been leaning on this. I used the third step. It's cleanse, nourish, moisturize. The third step moisturizer is this pot of essentially a mix that involves cocoa butter and a couple other oils. You mix it together. We'll put the recipe again below for you, but it's basically just like a lot of cocoa butter. I was putting that on the key areas that were dry every morning, every night, and even during the middle of the day. I would use a tinted moisturizer that I know does not irritate my skin. I have a couple that I can lean on. One's a BB cream from Anika. The other one is the Sun Shield, but I probably used more of the Anika than anything else. That would be what I would wear as the complexion, even or out or outer? No. It's the complexion product on top of the moisturizer that I was using. This is just what worked for me, but man, it really helped so, so much. And it really just went to a warm washcloth, Ayurvedic salve balm, cocoa butter deliciousness. And it's so rich that I would just put a little bit on my finger. I would dab here overnight. I would definitely layer it on almost like a mask and I smelled like chocolate. Everything that looked red and inflamed, this whole area, all of that dissipated and went away because I stopped fussing with it. I avoided things that I remember had kind of irritated my skin in the past. Oh, and I drank copious amounts of water. I mean, I'm really trying to up the water intake. However, it's freezing, so what I'm doing now is bringing tea into the mix. I'm very into peppermint tea right now. I love peppermint. That's what I'm doing. That's the deal. That's the behind the scenes of what actually happens when my skin freaks out. It doesn't happen a lot, but man, I was not prepared for the dry heat and my skin wasn't either. So chocolate, basically, it's just chocolate. The other thing I want to mention here is if I do just the balm, like the heavy balm too much, it's going to clog my pores. So I don't like to do that for longer than about a week. It, it has done that in the past. Keep that in mind. I'm not saying this is gonna work for everybody, but it certainly worked for me. And that's my story. Anybody else who's watching, if you've been dealing with the dryness that's going on right now and you have your go-to products that you can rely on, please share your skin type and your go-to healing routine right now in the comments below and everybody can get everybody else's perspectives. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. My camera just died, now it's adjusting. I'll see you guys right back here real soon. Until then, 